have to go to a restaurant to have amazing ramen at your house, it's super easy. Today we're going to be showing you how to make vegan ramen. I'm Max. I'm Michelle. And so let's get into the video. First, put the vegetable bouillon in. We have how much water in here? This is two cups of hot water. It's steaming hot. You're making your broth. How much bouillon do you so have there? This is there one teaspoon of veggie bouillon. Veggie bouillon paste. Or you can use the same amount of veggie broth. Good quality veggie broth. Or okay. if you get the box stuff, you might want to reduce it a little. So, we're going to put one eighth of a teaspoon in with this. This is red rooster sauce. It's trying to add a little spice. If you like it more spicy, I add more spicy. If you if you're not a big fan of spice, you don't have to add it. But and then we're going to it add works well. The noodles. How much noodles is that? So this is one cup of rice noodles. These are fried rice noodles. We we pre-cook them. You could also use ramen noodles. Stay tuned for a video on ramen noodles in the future. Now we're going to put the cruciferous vegetables in it. So this is kale, cabbage, and guava. Um, all cut up uh, already. You can buy it in a pack from Trader Joe's. Check out our grocery haul video for that. The link in the video description. Or you can just chop up a whole bunch of cruciferous veggies and it works well. Then now we have our mushrooms we cooked on the stove. Uh, we sauteed in a pan with just a little bit of water or you could also add some coconut aminos to it to season your mushrooms. Two mushrooms. Two mushrooms. The Two white button mushrooms. Button mushrooms. Now we're going to add four pieces of tofu. You can add more tofu if you're interested. This is a um, great substitution. It, it gives it the fineness that you might be missing in traditional animal ramen and gives it some texture. Now here is some green Italian basil. You could also use a, all sorts of different types of basil. This is just what we grow in our garden in the back. So, and this works really well. And then finally, we have some purple basil that we're gonna be adding on last. And so, this is what it looks like. We'll be back for a taste test. Hello, so we're back and now it's taste test time. So, you could also use a fork or chopsticks, but this way you get a little bit of everything and this works pretty well. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna try it. It's very good. It, the, the tofu provides a creaminess and luxurious fattiness from it. And the broth is super umami and monosodium glutamate-y. And the cruciferous vegetables give it a great crunch. The basil gives it the herbaceousness. And the noodles uh, give it the substance. And the mushrooms are amazing with it because it gives it the additional texture and some almost grizzliness that makes it more toothful and the broth is very good and it's very reasonably priced to make so i'm max i'm michelle this is eating vegan and leave your comments down below on your what soup that is your favorite and what soup you want us to make in the future or other comments and i'll have links in the video description to all the different things that I have in here and then also more resources and links to a playlist of other food videos that you might be interested in to check out after this. Okay, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click the little bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Uh, like it if you liked it because it really does help and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!